Well, folks, here we go. Welcome back to the fourth annual Steinway Classic. This is the last stream match of the night. And what a lineup. I, you know, you really can't ask for a better lineup than what we're having here. Three quarters of the field from the U.S. Open up here. And the next matchup is going to be Francisco Felicida versus Ruben Batista in a race to nine. And I'm just getting an update to the booth. Give me a second. This is a B-side match, so the loser of this set will be eliminated out of the tournament. So we're going to look for sparks to fly, but before we get underway, there's a lot of people we want to thank. MolinariGlove.com, Mr. Ira Lee, the whole corporation there holding court. The gloves that are making the craze around the city and are probably way beyond the city. It's MolinariGlove.com. Aramith balls and the best cloth that you can use and every table in Steinway has just been redone with Simonis. Thank you, Simonis. JoeTucker.net, giving out all the secrets about the rack. JoeTucker.net, if I tell you what, you get over there, you're gonna learn a lot about the rack and how to read a rack. Joe Tuck has been uh, giving lessons to many of the pros. Trust me when I tell you that. And you can get started. All you gotta do is mention the Upstate Owl promo code and uh, you'll get involved with Joe Tucker and you'll learn a lot. Years and years of frustration, JoeTucker.net. And then of course, next weekend, we'll be right here at Steinway Billiards to bring you the NYC Eight Ball Championships. And we had an event here last year that made the hair stand up on the back of your neck. Jason Shore took that tournament down. We're looking for another great field next weekend right here at Steinway put it on the calendar and keep in mind AccuStats is bringing you the make it happen December 17th through the 20th at the Simonis Arena the AccuStats Simonis Arena inside Sandcastles in Edison New Jersey Mr. Ed Ladawi's pool room look for the early bird special for the make it happen at AccuStats.com and then after we bring you the NYC championships we're going to be heading up to providence rhode island snookers five thousand dollar added event it's the uh five thousand dollar added event it's the ocean state nine ball tournament combined with the josh northeast nine ball tour we did it last year and the year before and this thing goes into 84 and 94 players it's not only the cash and the banner you get a trophy it's held in the new england billiards hall of fame which is inside snookers one of the best rooms in the country that's where we'll be bringing you the free live stream from plenty of professionals at both of these tournaments that i'm mentioning and if you plan on going there the holiday inn express is giving special rates to anybody that's traveling they're located in warwick rhode island on jefferson boulevard that's the holiday inn express thank you holiday inn we want to thank the kings of vapor also the kings of billiards out in akron ohio mr chad bowling and the whole crew stephanie and we also want to say congratulations to everybody on the screen right now. And you see, uh, Sky, I'm lost for words. <laughs> Sky Woodward, Corey Duell, Shane Van Boning, Mike DeShane, and Justin Bergman heading up the whole field for the USA. Congratulations, guys, and good luck. We'll be rooting on you. Mr. Joel Shapiro, the ace in the hole, doing a lot for pool. Thank you, Mr. Joel Shapiro. And Joe Boston. And all these sponsors on the left side and the right side of your screen right now. Predator, of course. Dan, uh, Joe DeVito, the DeVito team, the realtors. Ozone Billiards, Delta 13. Pool on the net. Phil Capel of Billiards Press, where you can actually purchase his books. PoolMag.com, AZBilliards.com, the largest pool and billiards website. Gotham City Technologies, Mr. Ron Mason's company. Pool.biz, Poison Cues by Predator, and of course the NAPL, PlayNAPL.com. Wild Eyes Creations. You, and when, they, when I say wild, get over there to wildeyescreations.com and check out their chalk holders, their T-shirts, all the items that they have. 
Thank you, Wild Eyes, for getting on board. And there he is, Mr. Mike Padstuben. And Mikey Finger is in the booth at Super Bleeds Expo, Expo with Wild Eyes Creations. And there's the NAPL, Tony Robles, Gail, and the whole crew. NAPL.com, we mentioned them. You can get on board with Tony and Gail and uh, play in the events that they hold. You won't regret it. The Tap League, the best amateur league in North America, along with the live stream news group on Facebook. Yep. And we're going to elect to get these guys on the way right now. I hope they didn't start. Don't believe they did. I'm going to have to check on that because they might have caught me as I was running the sponsors. We'd like to thank all the sponsors. But sometimes lack of communication. This room is packed wall to wall with spectators, players. They, okay, they're still practicing. All right, we're going to give them the go ahead. And they got the signal. Francisco on your right in the red. Ruben Batista on your left. Lag for the break. And Ruben Batista wins the lag. This is call shot, call safety. We hope you guys are enjoying the show as much as we are on premises, along with hundreds and hundreds of people sitting around the arena. Uh, there you see Sly. Used to be a houseman at the Golden Q years ago. The gentleman, the bald-headed gentleman sitting in the middle there. This is the VIP seating right up front, and then there's rows and rows behind them. And on the opposite side of the room, people are not moving from their seats. They don't want to leave their front seats and watch the action. And people standing up there behind them. I want to welcome Snooky. Hey. Back to the booth. Snookster. What's up, baby? Well, you know what? I don't know if it gets any more exciting than what we are experiencing for, over the last couple of days here. But if it does, you better have EMTs on scene because I'm flipping out. <laughs> Ruben Batista, open and break. Two balls all around the table. Two ball, no. Well, comes up dry. He's he's actually used a different break than most players on this table or or even around the, the tournament itself. Uh, he went off to the side about five, six inches from center instead of about the ball width that a lot of people head on. Okay, Francisco decided to play safe. Boy, what a safe he played, too. Yeah, Nine he ball is cutting off the angle to the left rail, and you're aggravated by the seven ball in front of you here. Yeah. Well, he did a double duty there when he uh, bust up in the, the seven two a little bit, too, because they were tied up. So that might be a, that might be a good uh, a factor. Ruben Batista answers back with just another cold-blooded safe. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Unreal. I think uh, I think these two might be pretty good match. Here. I think he called the one ball in the side pocket here. That might be, because if it clips the the three in the face, it might it might just. Now, if he did, if he did, um, then he's got to uh, make a decision whether to give this back to Francisco or not. And uh, and we want to welcome back Frenchy. What what are you on for? What's up, French? Hey, how are you whoa, doing? Whoa, whoa, this whoa. thing's a little, a little loud. Bit, a little bit too loud, there, sir. 
What is he on, four? Yes. Oh, somebody hit the knob. All right, how about now, French? Give yeah, us that some. sounds better, a little better. Go. All right. Does that okay. sound better, Snooky? That sounds great. <laughs> Frenchie. How you doing, big man? I, I want to ask your personal opinion. It got bad there, Copine, man. I couldn't believe that he uh, he played Copine. He, uh, he got beat twice, back to back. What's the odds of that? I mean, Vegas would have that down at about a 90 to one long shot. Give me your insight into this tournament so far. Unbelievable. I mean, the players that's getting knocked out of here is like uh, unreal. I just never seen nothing like it, man. I mean, the underdogs are coming through like a dream in this right. tournament. Right. Yeah, I understand that, but the overall experience yeah oh, I, I believe three quarter three quarter of the i would field. drive to this tournament with no gas in my car just to get here okay. you know what i mean i would take a chance with a quarter of a tank <laughs> <laughs> and i'm coming from chicago you know what i mean i would get and hook my chain to the back of the semi and have him drag me the rest of the way in oh my goodness <laughs> that doesn't say speak volumes <laughs> You know what I mean? No, I, yeah. I mean, you got to understand, not only are they great players here, but they, they just there's competition that you've never seen in your life. And Stooky was right earlier. I mean, these guys play with their heart. I mean, these guys really pour it out on the table. Does he have the chance right here to play uh, the three-rail stick him? I, I don't think. I think he sees half a ball here. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He does. I mean, well, I but guess what? Behind the eight is not bad either. Wow. I mean, well, he's got to take this. I mean, he, he, can, see, he can see it, but... I don't think he. I think he's got. To, he's going to have to play a safe. This he's is a, this calling is a, a safe. This yeah. is a very very finesse shot. You try to play the two behind the cue behind the two, but he it looks like he's firing here. He, uh, he's trying to play it. Well, if you don't get going here, he's going to leave this man a shot. Well, it's been a safety battle from the opening gate so far. Uh, welcome to the uh, fourth annual Steinway Classic. Yeah, and that's coming from all of us here. Yes. Uh, Upstate Owl, myself, Frenchie, and uh, Snooky, we're all three in the, in the booth here in the uh, fourth uh, annual Steinway Classic. What a turnout by everybody. This place is packed. You can't even get, get a seat anymore. No, you can't. <laughs> and it filled up, you know, I, 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 sometime after 637, I, you know, I said it's Monday. A lot of people come in out of work. They just want to, like, come straight out. It seems like a lot of guys came straight from work and uh, want to enjoy this tournament, you know. Ooh, look at this. Pocket hook. Oh, the one came back down, so you're not going to see Ruben get back to the table. See, Ruben played the one ball, which means if he would have wound up missing the one ball and the cue ball being safe, Francisco had the option of giving it back to him. I don't know if he's but got not the side pocket situation. here. I don't think he's... It doesn't matter. I'm not giving this back to him. I could see the one ball. Now you have the chance to play safe instead of giving it back to oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's not going to give it back. But yeah. You know, the way I look at, like, uh, Is he going to draw this, get somewhere around the two? I just don't see how he got safe there, but, you know, he did. Uh, the, well, he's got an easy jump shot to at least nip the side of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or bend it. He might be able to spin it right around. He comes off here. So yeah. He comes and hits the rail. Probably leave the cue ball if he can hit the rock here. Let the, cue, the one come out here in the middle. Well, of the, the table people, the people good. out on the internet don't know what you mean by here and there. So you're gonna have to say, <laughs> you're gonna have to say, hit the long <laughs> left <laughs> rail. Well, I say hit the short rail and run the one ball into the long rail. On the left. On there the left go. and let it run out into the middle of the table. And hopefully you can leave good the rock shot. in the middle I, of the I table. I like it the opposite way. I like firing at the long rail on the left. And I think he's gonna, ball you know, I think he's gotta kick and call the one. How about that? Did he call the one? I mean, a lot of guys will would elect to do it because there's no, I mean, if you hit it that good, you know what I mean? There's, there was nothing in the way of that pocket. Well, he's not going to give it back to him in this position anyways. I don't believe so. He's going to have to might, call the 10. He might bank this. He's going to have to call the 10. He might bank this into the 10, into the corner. What an amazing shot. <laughs> he's going to have to call the 10 he's ball He's got to call it. I'd call it. Why not? It's a freebie. No, he didn't. Look. See what I mean? But what a touch. Yeah. Well, he's got eyes on it. Whole ball, actually. Yeah, well, the cue ball ran a little I bit I think hot, now he's going to take the long rail and put this over on the short rail on the right-hand side and leave the cue ball up table and put the one over by the seven deuce. What do you think, Snook? I think I'd like that. I think I like putting the I cue ball. I think that's where he's going. Actually, he's going the other way, actually. Well, wow. I didn't see that. Oh, he went for a more simple safe, which is fine. I, I thought. I didn't see. I didn't like that one as much. I mean, I, I guess it's going to work, but it gives him a really easy jump. That's what he's doing. Went to his jump cue. Yeah, I mean, he's got to, but here's the thing. There's a, there's a, there's a small chance if he gets good on this, he can make this. 
And if he puts it over here on the rail, there's no chance of making the ball. I yeah. think there's a better way. I would have sent the cue ball. I would have done what you said and probably send it over somewhere near the seven and send the cue ball up w to where the six is, somewhere around there. I can see why you play. <laughs> I'd hate to play you a game. You talk <laughs> about playing Robin Hood on. I, I play so a gem up from back here oh, okay. <laughs> than on there. <laughs> well, I see it. We got Mr. Mora at the booth. How you doing, John Mora? Hey, John. Wow, man, you talk <laughs> about a superstar. This man is better than Superman. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles and walks away. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> See, now he, he jumps over that, uh, Al. But the thing is, does he leave the combination, do you think? Well, I think the one might have a possibility. Looks like he's got about three quarters of the pocket here. It, yeah, it's close. But it doesn't go by the eight, does it, Al? It might. Well, it he, might. he bent down like Tiger Woods. Take a look at it. See him? He's still got work to do to get to that, too. what eyes this kid has. And he did very good work to get to the two, actually. And, and I couldn't even done that. Snooky, I mean, that wouldn't have been nothing I would have done. I mean, I like the thought, here's, here, here's, 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 here's the great thing. He come off that rail, he hit it so true. I mean, he couldn't have played it any, any better. Any better than that. No. Actually, he, he, he did get a little straighter than he'd like to be. But I think he spins it and spins it and uses right spin and comes up the table for the three in the corner. How sweet is that? I mean, how much better How much better could he have done there, Snooky? I'm sorry? How much better could he have done there? No, that, that was great. He went right between the seven, nine, ten. He's got a good shot here and an open table, no clusters. Looks like he might have a run out here. That sounds awesome. What a shot that was, Snooky. Are you familiar with Ruben? I am. I am a little familiar with him. I think he uh, he plays really well. I've only seen him play in probably about three tournaments. But uh, I'm really I'm not really familiar with uh, Francisco. Are you? No, I can't say that I am. Um, I know Ruben's been here in the states several times, and he's I, been here at Steinway too. Yeah, and uh, we even traveled together a little bit with the, you know, going around to some tournaments. We went to like the Turning Stone tournaments and some other stuff that we, we've uh, done as a group, of course, not together like that. <laughs> so he's, uh, he's made his mark, you know what I mean? It's, and, and definitely let people know who he is. Uh, he's a, a student of Ignacio Chavez, do you know, that Mexican player. I have heard of him, yes. Yeah. Very was, little uh, about him. He's been uh, under his tutelage for some time now, and and uh, it's, it's kind of like teacher has become, I mean, the student has become teacher now. Did he just miss that, or did he play safe? No, he missed He it. missed that ball. It looked like a nice safe, too. <laughs> 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 looked like nice position on the eight, too. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. mean, between me and you, that's probably one of my better saves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he overcut the seven. He did and overcut it pretty good, but he got real fortunate. Yeah. And Francisco just told him I'll take the shot because. What's uh, he do here? I'll, does he bank this up the corner? Or he, does he's not from Kentucky, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing safe behind the nine? Playing no. him, what we call the mousetrap. How's the speed? Look at this. Wow. Now Ruben has the option of giving it back to him. Well, he ain't giving nothing back. He ain't giving this back. This ain't Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't treat. <laughs> I mean, he can't get to the table fast enough. He, he, I think he left his cane at the chair. <laughs> <laughs> we got to turn. I understand. We got to turn him down a little bit. He's he's getting hyper, and I don't blame him because look at this. Look at this. This is a great tournament, and he's excited to be here. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I, I mean, I love the I love the I love the thrill pull. It, it, it runs the motivation up a little bit. Uh, pool is uh, just a great thing. Is he playing the, the 9 10? Straight in. No, straight, straight in. in. The 9 straight in. Straight in? Yeah. Well, you called that beautiful. <laughs> you couldn't have called it any better. It's not my first time. 
And it's not Ruben's first time either, <laughs> but he draws first blood. It's one nothing, Ruben Batista. That's awesome, Ruben. That was a lengthy first rack it with was the, a, safety, it the was. safety battle. Yeah, they went back and forth. But I do got to give minutes. everybody out there a little heads up on this match. Everybody in the room, everybody. Now, and, and when I say everybody, I truly mean that because they all come up to me and they all want to bet on Francisco in this match. Everybody. I'm the only one in the room that's got Ruben. I, I can honestly say that. Unless you two like him, but other than that, everybody out out in this room loves Francisco in well, this match. Well, I'll tell you who I like. I like them both. I want to see an exciting match. That's I agree I with that. I, I had so many bets in this match that I had to write almost to three IOU to the bank across the street. <laughs> it's got IOUs written on napkins over yeah. here. <laughs> I mean, this match is unbelievable. I mean, it's just you, Do you think he's a little excited, folks? <laughs> just a little. He's a little overzealous. Just a little. No, no. But, I mean, one guy came up to me, and he wanted to bet his car. He was thinking about putting his wife on the line. I said, oh you don't have goodness. to go that far, <laughs> sir. All right. All right, here we go, guys. Rack number two. Ruben Batista on the lead. one nothing. Just broke him up. Broke dry. Broke dry. That one looked like it was creeping towards the corner, but nothing. Dry break. And, he again, he's not, you know... If you can tell, look at look at the break point on that table. You see the swipe on the cloth where he's gonna most have to take players. This ball. He's going to have to take this one ball, and uh, he's going to go on his side, but I don't know if he's going to get hooked on it or if it's just going to be a natural roll down. No, he might play off the five and just hold the rock there just like that. That was beautifully executed. Two rails forward for the three. Is he drawing it back? Why does he look like he's doing that? Punching oh, it out. Oh, he punched it out. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know he had that much of an angle to get out that far. You know, I had the opportunity to watch him at the U.S. Open, and uh, I'll tell you what, he's very impressive. Very impressive. He holds his own. He's steady as a rock, and he has to be to compete with Ruben Batista and the rest of this field here. Sure. He punched that in nicely. This is his this is his out shot right here, I think. If he can get in the middle of this uh, nine five, nine. Uh, well, he's got some well work that, to do. Yeah, he's got that five six is is a little work. Yeah, he's got to be. I mean, he's got to get to the f um, from the four to the five, and then work from five to six. Got to be a mechanic here. He's got to get in and out of small windows. Did that one pretty well. Ooh, slowed down in time. Now, how does he handle this? Does he play this and hold the cue balls? Put a small window between the nine I six and play the six in the bottom right hand corner. I'd like to drag between the or ten and eight. Or does he play it up table? I he like to draw this. He's, I think he's got to draw this back. He's playing it up table, and he's got the right angle to slide over for the seven. Very nice shot. Mm -hmm. You talk about a match here, folks. This is a match. Sweet. No, I hope oh, I'm not the only one that likes this match. I was hoping that you loved it. Oh, I love these matches. <laughs> I love every single match that we have in here. Great matches, championship matches. tie here, Snooky. Yeah, looks that way. So far, so good. One, one, there we go. It's, hey, now, it's now a race to eight. Yeah. I was going to ask you, is there going to be one more TV match tonight, or is this the final match? This is the final match of the night. But if there's any other table going on within the surrounding borders of the table, we do have the accessibility to zoom in on some of those matches. 
Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't want to leave you guys in the dock out there on the pay-per-view. If we have a chance, I'll switch cameras over so you guys can enjoy it. And now, they're uh, talking about having we're here a for the real, duration. They're talking about uh, having a real big match coming up uh, on table three. Is there a chance if it's a real big match that you could stream that match for us tonight? As a bonus? Yeah, as a bonus. For the pay-per-view viewers? Yeah. Um, it if depends on what takes place, if they want well, to see it or not. Yeah, we're going to have Dennis Arcola on, on table three. We was going to have him last night. <coughs> he wants to, he's going to show us how table three really works. <laughs> Is he going to be playing Mike DeShane at all? Well, it's either Mike DeShane, but there's about three people tonight that stepped up and want to play. All right, we'll talk about that after this match. Right now we're involved here 1-1. One Sounds great. Here we go. Francisco with the break. He well. broke really good. Got an open lane here. All right, folks, uh, I just want to let you guys know I'm going to take about a five-minute break, Snooky, and uh, I'll, I'll be back in the spot here in about five to 15 minutes. I've got to take care of something that just came up, but uh, it was awesome talking to both of you guys. This mismatch is an amazing match, and I look forward to being back in the booth here in a few minutes. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's perfectly fine, Frank. Yeah, we'll see you soon. All right, thank you. All right, bye-bye. got it. You're welcome. The AZB TV booth <laughs> invites everybody to join in. And, and I'll tell you one thing. Frenchie's been stirring up a lot of action throughout the entire room. And I think it's only fair that we give him some air time and we'll let you guys know what he has in store. He's the one putting this major match together tonight, a challenge match. And if that should take place, I'm going to have to consult with uh, Manny and George, the owners of Steinway, to see if they want to put that on as a bonus because... Uh, you know, they do pay for their bandwidth. We are running a pay-per-view event, and if they say it's okay, then it's gonna be okay with me, and I got no problem putting two cameras on that match. Uh, it'll take me a heartbeat to do. <laughs> Trust me, and I don't mind hanging in there. Well, like you said, you have to go to the formalities. You have to, you yeah, know. It's just not my call. Sure. I didn't want to break his bubble, but. Uh, well, And I, I got news he's, for you. he's so elated. I got news for you. He's such a big action guy yeah. that. He would probably give us money for the bandwidth. <laughs> you know, yeah, and say, hey, yeah. you guys can take this and keep it. Yeah. But uh, I'll hang in there. Trust me, if that match takes place. But right now, the main event is on the screen. Back and that's to the what action, we're here to baby. Do. Back to the action. Three rails come back out for the five and the side. Nice speed, beautiful touch. Ruben Batista overran it just a little bit. He would like to be on the right side so he can just float up for the six. But he's still okay. He's just got a little work to do. Watch out because that eight ball becomes a lodge right here. He's got to be real careful. That's why he's thinking about just going one rail or spinning it with inside stuff and going two rails. You just don't want to get behind that eight ball in any shape or form. And this is why he's changing up. He's going to accept the longer shot. Playing it with inside. Well, he played it one rail. Here's the eight ball coming into effect. He's got the window. Yeah, that's perfectly, actually. Nice touch. First match on the live stream tomorrow when we resume at uh, 
1 p.m. in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, is going to be uh, Jason Shaw. And we don't know who his opponent's going to be as of yet. Okay, but we will keep you informed. I'm sending word to the tournament uh, table as uh, I'm telling you about it. I just found out Jason will be on the first live stream match. Ruben Batista up at the table. You can see the score is 1 1. This is a B side match. The loser will be eliminated out of the tournament. And both of them are going to be fighting tooth and nail. Ruben Batista comes with it. Yeah. Two to one. He says, hey, I can do this too. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, we all know he can. Hey, Troy, welcome back. There we go. I'm hot there. There, there you is. go. You're hot. <laughs> hey, You're we, look, we, we look kind of yellow or orange or something. You know it's the, the lights lighting. that we have around here. I we think it's just the fever I got. I got the fever. You got the fever? <laughs> No, we, it's, it, it really is the color lights over here. Like. The NYC eight ball champions com championships coming up next weekend as the buzz continues here at Steinway and in the New York City area on the East Coast. Uh, we're going to bring you that live stream for free. You're the bomb. You guys are the bomb. You were the bomb. And that's a New York thing, bomb. We should <laughs> mention that. Since we <laughs> mentioned that on the airwaves, now the CIA is listening in. Yeah, that's right. That's a key word. <laughs> Ruben Batista set up for the break. Watch the eight and the nine here. Nine ball, close. Eight ball eight went ball in. Inside. He doesn't appear. I, from here, do you think he has a shot on the one? You know, I, you know <laughs> if we close everyone's <laughs> eyes and I go over there, I can move the, I can move the nine. What wow. do you think? That's, that's, that's a tough roll. You know, if yeah. I'm going to move anything, I'm not going to move the nine. I'll move the cue for him. <laughs> How about that? That's, <laughs> a tough, that's really a tough roll. He's, you're going to see him push out. You know, he can push out. Just push out towards the right side of the nine to the first diamond on the short rail. You're not going to leave him much. The two ball looks like it's in the path of the bank. Well, let's see what. Uh, yeah, but then he. he you don't want to no, leave a safe you, either. You, that's a safe right there. There's a lot of blockers there, especially that six, seven, Boy, five, you don't, you don't want to leave him a shot. No, of course he not. He might bump the three and just leave the cue ball right there. Ooh. Ooh. How about if you hide yourself? And. Uh, uh, he's going to bend the ball and play rail first. Play safe. And lead to six, seven, or five as a blocker, possibly. There you go. That is not what he was. I don't like at any point bringing the one near the 10 uh, ball. The 10 ball. <laughs> but it uh, worked out okay. Yeah, he did good there. I mean, it, it worked out. It just, I, I think there may have been a, n a number of other push yeah. scenarios. That but it wasn't It wasn't bad because you, you, you don't want to push and have your opponent just lock you up. You can't, like, leave him a push where he's going to play you dead safe. I guess, you you know, at this level, you got to push to an area where you can hit it and possibly try and get a good safe out of it. You know, like, it, it right, right. you feel comfortable uh, kicking it or, you know, you're pushing to a kick or you're pushing to a jump shot. These guys don't push to, to any shot generally, right? I no, mean, that, yeah, we, we've yeah. been watching it, and it's just like they're not – like sometimes you push, and you, depending on your opponent, you ooh, ooh. you hit that. Yowza! That was a little error. Do you do you know that they say you should know this, and that that they say the one rail kick is the like the Hardest. most underestimated one? Like yeah, because you can calculate you know rails yeah, two or three rails because yeah, you, you know your diamonds and all this other stuff but yeah so but many factors so many f yeah exactly I, you took the words right yeah, out of my mouth speed and then if you use english but you can cut down on that um if you're just looking to kick it and use that the, the mirrored system or or the, mm -hmm. the diamond system where you're, you're cutting it right in half mm -hmm. and you just use natural running english and and just do that you, you come within an inch or two mm -hmm. uh, either side and it works real well but anytime that you have to introduce your own angle mm -hmm. the speed and the spin uh you just you're not guessing but you're just making it calculated uh, from practice 
Does that three go straight? Does it? He looked at it. Dead straight. And All right, so see the cue is following it right, right in back of it. Oh, well, the three is what I'm talking about. It goes. About. I, I know it goes. Oh, it's going to, like, maybe cheat the pocket a little. See, yeah. that's what he's looking at. Just rub at. the rail on the way in. Wipe its feet, like Troy says. Yeah, and you know that pocket up top is a little forgiving, as we've mentioned before. It is, before. but he's got to get, get around for the four, too. Well, he's going to whack at it. Yeah, he's going to yeah. whack. Oh, no, he didn't, he didn't whack it. He lined, yeah. he won, he, you know, he, the way he lined up over there, it looked like he was going to power drive that ball. I thought he was going to power drive that ball, but cheating the pocket that way, that's that was the issue that I was. Uh, in good shape here. Real good. Draw back straight to the rail, or just float it down. He drew to the rail. One rail back up for the six and the seven. How do you like this? This looks nice out of here. Yeah, he gets on a six, uh, a little angle for getting back up to the nine. Oh, you know what he can do here too is get a side pocket if he gets the angle. Mm -hmm. But I think he he left himself up there. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to have to draw back. I was thinking if he got uh, to the other side, he can kind of roll down and play it in the side. Absolutely. As we mentioned before, you have a little more control with your follow, with your speed control. It's okay here. The side pocket uh, while shooting this nine ball somehow gets bigger. Because it's right in your, almost in your peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's he's locked in right there. You can see that. He, over, he, he overcooked he, it, like you said. Watching the side, he almost found himself in the corner. Yeah. This is one of the first 10 balls I've seen about, uh, I don't know, a dozen or so that isn't. Not a straight not in. Not a straight in <laughs> shot. But not, not this is straight no, in the yeah, side. No, it's pretty but straight, yeah. Nice shot. Well, he fires back and makes it a double deucer. The crowd is excited for all the matches, and I hope all the uh, viewers are also. They're having a good time here. Steinway. The fourth annual Steinway Classic. Mm. I believe Al said this is the last match for tonight, right? Yes. Yes, it is. 10 o'clock on the East Coast time. Yeah, we resume at 1. We might have some big time. PM, 1 PM. Challenge match going on after this, so. Yeah, the room's buzzing. You can see everybody negotiating. Well, one thing for sure, there's been a lot of buzzing. Yeah, you, st you stick all of these players in, in the room and... Uh, with most of the matches coming to an end, <laughs> well, they're going to want to do it's, something. It's natural either way. As, as some of the players begin to become eliminated from the tournament, you know, they're in town. They, you know, what do they do? Go back to their rooms? I mean, right. they you wanna know, they, play. they want to play. They, they Seven, wanna six, and four fine holes, Snooker. My goodness, look at this break. And look at this table. Aww. It looks like an arrow. Well... <laughs> You failed. Oh, yeah. You must have failed social studies. Looks, I think it looks like a road map. No, it does look like it's Like the stars he, he's or something. In the stars. Because <laughs> that's what we're filming. We're filming the stars of pool right now. <laughs> nice. He's, he's in real good shape. Oh, yeah. Here. Perfect. Hey, who did, who's this? Am I out? Remember that? Say that again. Am I out? Am I out? Yeah, kinky. Remember you oh, used to wow. say that? Okay. Coming from a female's tone of voice. Kind well, of yeah. Well, uh oh, he's gotten. <laughs> almost. Did he get himself? No, I don't think so, but he. Uh, no, he's got. He it. flirted with that ball. Didn't have to. Didn't have to at all, but, you know. No harm. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. And I'm I fiending to hit a ball. My goodness, you mm -hmm. have no idea. He's going to get right back in the same area he's uh, yeah. at now, I believe. Notice the speed of the cue ball. He didn't want to overrun it too much. 
same pocket. The two rails come up. Oh, they filled it a little bit. Very nice. Looking to put the 10 in the side and stay low. Let me take another look at it. This is a good idea. Francisco has a nice pace about him. Yes, he does. But they get, a lot of those players do. And what I mean by those plays, I meant Filipinos, by the way. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I, I, I understand. <laughs> well, even Those for you, players. for the, well, <laughs> I realized I, I wasn't quite specific with what I meant by that. <laughs> oh, look at his bridge. He uh, he likes to jack up a little bit using that bridge. Well, he wants to park the rock. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like Alex Pagalion's voice. Sounds like he's getting in action. He's been playing a little. Oh, there is something going. Yeah, yeah there they, is. They've been back there for like f three hours playing. Oh, okay. Amongst themselves, a little bank. A pool. little ring game. Yeah, their usual. Bank and. That's how they practice. Yeah, I I was in. The, <laughs> I got into that yesterday with them. <laughs> It wasn't fun. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say. Nice shot. Beautiful. That was nice speed to uh, mm -hmm. have it accept. Oh, that three ball's all the way down there. And uh, the angle to shoot this in the side. The table's nice and... Uh, fast right now mm -hmm. so he still has to hit this with pace to get get it out of the corner and pass the eight ball and come three rails and back come around three rails yeah mm -hmm. he missed the 10 well see oh he threw back one rail yeah and, and that's he, what threw the two missed ball it. out yep he got where he wanted to get kind of but uh he didn't make the ball he over He tried to force that in a little bit with the draw. The pocket spit it out. Francisco has the option to give it back to him. He's not going to. No. Uh, yeah. Because he has opportunities to play safe himself. Can you ask your opponent, would you like to shoot this? Is that, I'm not giving it back to you. It's just asking, you want to shoot this? Yeah. Yeah, no. There yeah, you have it. Much. He called it right up in the upper left, the bottom left-hand corner of your monitor is where he called the two ball. He's going to cut it in. Probably. 57, just a little bit. Oh, he didn't wow. even, he, you know, that's what happened. He hit he it with a lot up. of inside stuff, too. And he jumped up, too. Not to hit the seven. Yeah. Well, that quite he didn't thin. do too bad. I mean, he's going to be looking at uh, swinging a kick shot or a uh, jump shot after this. How's the speed? Blocker. He's got to kick at this. It's too far away to even attempt to jump. Unless he uh, gets up on the table like Vandenberg did before, right? Mm -hmm. That was some shot. Amazing. That was <laughs> some match. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Gonna spin around the eight. He took a look at it. No, it's he can't go. Uh, the five ball is blocking him to go two rails. Mm -hmm. But I believe. Okay. How about let's just go one rail. He, he called it too. He's kicking it in. 
You gotta call it, right? Yeah. Nice shot. He didn't have much. He, didn't, he hit it, so. The two goes, but uh, he's got to keep eyes on it. it. It is awfully close. I don't believe he needs to call a ref over for it. It's not that close. My hit is so pure that nine doesn't move. That's what will draw back a foot or two. Oh, he left it right there. Yeah, just about where it was in the beginning. Oh, no. <laughs> really? Look at this. No, had he made it, I think he was snookered from the eight ball. With the eight ball. I mean, now it definitely, because he bumped it back with the two, but even before it got Th bumped. Now, I was asking before, like, you might want to call a ref over. You mm -hmm. definitely want to call someone over to watch his shot. How oh. However he does it. Uh, even if he shoots away from it. When he shoots away from it, he's, he's, you know, there's no real need for it. But anywhere. He's trying to cut this into the corner pocket. Yeah, what he well, wants that, that you need so to call. So calling a ref, I think, uh, would, well, there's room in there. He might not even I touch the eight. I, with the eight there, I. Oh, okay. Good shot. Well. Oh, there's so many <laughs> things that can go wrong here. No, I think he's just going to elect to hit it with a little left and uh, push it up to the rail and lock him behind that. Behind the four. Four ball. Yeah. The four ball's a little funny color. I've only been looking at it for the past two days. <laughs> <laughs> it's the television set. Yeah, I miss TV balls. And there they are on a banner, one of the big supporters. You can be aggressive too here. The two ball goes. Well, it does go. That's why I was saying before that they, a lot could go wrong though. If he, sh if he attempts to, f to shoot that too. He's looking at the uh, combination also. He called something. He's going to be aggressive and shoot. Oh, maybe not. He played safe. He that's what he. Wow, oh. this is getting ugly. Oh, really? That. This is like he ugly. This is double ugly. He, he got a little fortunate there. He hit behind a ball that was in in transit. So, he's got a one rail kick here. Nice shot. Spinner. Okay. I'm liking some of the safety battles with the kick shots and He won that one. He came out ahead. He's a pretty small fella, though. Can he reach over the eight and still make no, this three? Gonna no, go he's going to get the bridge. He might get two bridges here. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> Get another bridge. <laughs> What's he? He's getting something. His bag of tricks. Probably going to get his extension and try to lean over since he's got to hit the top of the ball anyway. Oh, yeah. And it's not that far past the side get pocket. His, he might be able to get his the extension. His hand that close to the eight ball. Well, he can use a long bridge. Oh, he's getting his own bridge. Yeah, uh -huh. looks that way. Wow. Three-story bridge. My Here comes goodness. the Batman bridge. It's out. <laughs> Take a look at this, <laughs> folks. <laughs> That's the Batman <laughs> bridge. Look at that thing. My goodness. When you're in the business of playing pool, add it to your arsenal. <laughs> well, <laughs> I might have to look into that one because. How about if he flips it around? I like yeah, I like the hole in I the like middle. I like the hole there, too. I mean, I even using the 
that little notch next to well, the he hole? He feels it's not necessary to okay, use the Okay, yeah, he's up high enough. Yeah. Watch the eight. Don't no, you can't hit this eight. It's like a football goal, isn't it? Old post. Old post. Nice Perfectly shot. done. Textbook as you hear the applause. Mm -hmm. You made that look easy. That, that, I wonder what the name of that bridge is. I don't know, but I was just thinking the same with along the lines of, um, and I mentioned that before in uh, an earlier match, like how many bridges can you utilize? Is yeah. there a standard no. rule Tony for says like Tony, as many as you want. You can put 15 together if you'd like. <laughs> exactly what he said. That's, that's what he said, cool. for, like verbatim, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Pagalion near the booth. He's just being the silly fellow that he is. <laughs> he's, he's saying we're cussing. Yeah, he's like, no swearing <laughs> in the booth. No swearing. <laughs> little troublemaker. He is. He's so mischievous. I, I <laughs> love his attitude. I love his personality. It's he's fantastic. I think Al's going to try and get him in the booth. Oh, that'd oh be no, great. he's running. Please. That'll be great he's, if we can get He's actually running. Oh, he, he's running, running to the away. little boys' room at the moment. That's <laughs> We're going to try to get Alex in here <laughs> for a little while. That would be great. He's fantastic. <laughs> We're going to let him talk away and let him call the shots. Give, let him School call us. it as he sees it. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get some input from I Alex. would love that. Are you kidding me? Seems like he's tuned up pretty oh good. Oh, yeah, he's a lot of fun. Just loving life. Get that other, oh, we got the other headset ready, okay. Oh, it's ready to go, believe me. I'm on the job, come on, yeah. I'm on the job. And as we're chatting along, he's uh, doing his work. Yep. Look at that. That's what he gets paid to do. All tied up at three. The safety play in that last game was uh, it was nice. A lot of kicks and it was wound up winning the, the, the game for him. Mm-hmm. There's your sponsors on the left and right. I'd like to thank them all. Absolutely. On behalf of all of us. Who's that good looking guy in the middle? I'll introduce you. <laughs> here we go. Back to the match. 3-3 three, three on the break. Nine ball. Nine oh, got kissed in too. You saw that, right? That's what you call a second chance. Yeah, second chance. Well, let's see if this. I wonder if he can cut that six in. Looks like it. He's got to cut that one a little bit. Not too much, though, I don't think. It's hard to tell. A little work there in controlling the cue ball to stay down there with the one and uh, give him a, you know, hope for a little angle to get he back. Played played very nice. So he nicely. played that really nice. And he's got the, the entire long rail. Right. Now, with this, you hit this high, uh, you need a little English to come out because. That high will tend to kill it too. Yeah, yeah. You know what else he can do is uh, he can draw it through. That's what he's looking at, maybe. He's got to get all the way down table for the two ball. He's drawing it. Yeah, that that that's a running English right there. That makes it a lot easier. Yeah, ooh, that Just watch the corner. Oh yeah. Oof. He's pocket safe. He's pocket hooked. Yep, he sure is. He's gonna try. You're gonna see a real nifty shot here, by the way. I think he's going to point. Yes. What else? He really, I mean, that's one option. 
Where else do you see a hole? He here? might go in his bag of tricks and pull out that black thing that has a hook <laughs> on the it. Hole in, in the, <laughs> the gaff, the, the boomerang. I he think called he's, it. I think he said to Francisco, he's calling it. Yeah. Or he's going to he's going to going to mass it a little bit. And he's got a little help from his friend, the seven ball there. Yeah, it's about what he's got, yeah. seven. Ball in hand he for Francisco. He, he didn't give that uh, Enough. it's do. Uh, it's a tough shot. You really have to adjust the speed. And mm -hmm. I think he just he grabbed his cue, he jacked up, and he just gave it a one poker. That's correct. Francisco has no problems here. Got a nice little angle to get on the seven here. Or the five, check that to get down on a seven. And the eight sitting in the hole. You know, the game seems to be pretty parallel. Um, the way they play. But the way, yeah. Right, right, the right, way right. they play. It's like one, one guy playing almost. It's, yeah. It, it's the same dude. Yeah, you he's going to stay on that side of the table on the rail. Oh, he got up a little bit. They, uh, the just it, the way they maneuver around the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their shot selections like a little bit. The safety play seems to be about, about the same. They're not. Yeah, you no know, like dr dramatically different dramat in their yeah, styles. Right. And here he goes. There's a little difference. He's got one more point. Well. 4-3. <laughs> now there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> and the break. sure Francisco is hoping for an, a nice break and a spread, but me, I hope a couple balls get tied up. <laughs> just, you, I, I just want to see some more uh, safety, safety play. play yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen. Watch a couple of my matches. <laughs> <laughs> Switching it up a little bit. Going to the side rail. See if he still tries to park the rock. Yes, he did. And one ball went flying in and a two ball dressed up nicely. Maybe just get on his three real good. And uh, if he gets on his three real good, it'll be the key to everything else falling in line. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? Now looking at it, I looked at it before. I thought the seven passed the eight, but uh, you know what? I didn't see the ten ball. <laughs> uh -oh. I looked right <laughs> past the ten ball. I didn't see it. Yeah, he's got some work ahead of him. He's got to get on this six. He's kind of making it look easy. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm yet to see him start working with the seven eight over here. You got you hooked up there. Hey. Yeah. I wonder what he's thinking here, what his game plan is. 
He can do a little bit here if he wanted to, but it's uh, it's a little risky. You played a five. You, sp you, sp you spin the cue ball uh, before the rail. Come and bump that eight out. So we got Frenchie back in the booth. No, he did not do that. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Hey, what's up, Frank? How you doing, Troy? Very good. Soft, sir? Very good. Now, he might ju You know what he's going to do here? He's going to play the 10 ball. He's going to play the 7-10 combo, I think. Unless he draws back where the 8 is. No, he's going to play that. Well, he can play... I when mean life gives you lemon, you make lemonade. You make lemon pie. <laughs> Meringue, baby. All right, he's going to play this rail first, get behind the 8, and... Uh, the nine ball helps him out a little bit in case he hits it uh, bad. But how about if he just hit it real good and split the pot? He hit it pretty sporty, actually. Very nice. Francisco takes a, a little bit of a commanding lead there at 5-3. Not a commanding lead. I guess it would be... Uh, Right, here we are. We're back. Francisco Felicidad leads this match five to three. We're into rack nine that quick. Yeah, and he he managed to uh, that those balls were tied up over there. Yeah, I like the way he maneuvered there, like a and mechanic working his way through an engine, taking said, out the you, screws and you bolts. You know what? Why why do I need to run him out? I'll, let me just get that money ball. He he did what he had to do. That's his job. And he moved his uh, brake over to the side. Look and at that's the a real three ball. Night. That's a real nice change up the for the sevens break. hanging near the side pocket. Just about gets it's a cliffhanger. Wow. <laughs> Sly Stallone <laughs> and cliffhanger part three. Wow. What do you see here? Well, I see him making the one ball, Two. coming back to the center of the table, making a deuce. Stay and right there. Stay right there for the four. Just I'm already from, mapped out. Yeah, stay right there for the five or just draw up a little bit. Four wow. to the, four to the five. One rail back out towards the center of the yeah. table, favoring the left side. And he uh, got a little funny, but he can hold it. I don't, he might not want to hold it. Let's just don't don't shoot you don't shoot over the eight. Just pinch it back a little bit. There that's all. Nice. Watch the five. Yeah. Oh. Mm. He got pinched. That's close. Wow. No, Talk. he's got clearance, but he. Oof. He don't have clearance. Clearance. I don't think so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think he does. He does. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm blind. I got glasses on. <laughs> I'm old. Shot. Uh oh. Yeah. Fifty yard line. He's gonna have to pull a bag of tricks. A stroke here. Tricks are for kids, baby. Tricks Do you see him going kids. three rails and just missing the eight ball? Really? That's I. I don't think so. He's tend to draw a lot of balls, he and is. he'll just he's play this in the corner. Rail. You just leave it, it right the there and yeah. play in the corner. I like his style. Yes. It's nice. He's nice and simple. He, he doesn't move around too much when he doesn't need to. But he stays in line really good, too. You know, he, he gets that key shot and he locks in on it. Yeah. And uh, the rest falls into place. French, what's happening? Are you still with us? I'm with you. I'm okay. just listening to the good uh, good things you got to say. <laughs> I'm trying. I try. Sounds like you got a lot of good feedback here. I hope so. Looks like this is just an easy run out from here. Nice. He's in a nice position to get. Nice and easy on that five, uh, the ten ball. <laughs> I don't mind shooting these ten balls. Not at all. <laughs> We're getting a lot not of them for right my, today. Not for my cheese. Yeah, a lot of, the, a lot of easy ten balls today. Six three, as you hear the crowd, appreciate the great play. Yeah, Francisco is uh, just dominating the table a little bit here. That was a break and run too, right? Correct. 
Yeah. Yeah. Ruben's not looking too happy over there. Yeah. Well, you know, when you sit in the seat that long. Yeah, well, the guy's got a three-game lead on you now. I mean, it's, it's a little it's a little rough. Now, I don't know this. Uh, I don't know Ruben that well, but, I mean, is, is he a type of player that can come back in this position? Sounds like somebody's got uh, Ruben Batista. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Me. Uh, You're the only one in the whole room. <laughs> I can tell you. I can tell you one thing. He's a grinder. Is he, he a plays grinder? a lot out on the West Coast, out at hard times. And hard times. Yep. He's he's definitely a grinder. I mean, he's and not going to no give choice. up on his fault. No, his he's not giving up. He don't give up. They're going to give up yeah. hair in his body. There ain't too many on players body, left that have that give up in him. And he's he's choosing to stick with this break because it has been working. All right, watch the six and the eight go towards the side pockets and the two and the three circle around the table. Three rails coming back towards the bottom corners. And he's been leaving the cue ball right there. Talking it. Oh, well, this time kicked a little bit. Six went in. Ooh, watch the ten. How, does he like billiards? <laughs> he might play a spin. Oh, I like it. He might play the spin here. I don't think you can get hurt too bad. Even if you miss it. Well, just don't go behind. If you go behind, you go in the drink or close to scratching. Right. But he's definitely giving it an eye. You can see him on the poster back there. I'm only kidding. He's standing off <laughs> to the left. <laughs> he's actually you know, looking big, down the table, and that's where he is right, right there. You know, the big thing is, is that uh, if he does do it, I mean, it ain't really going to hurt him. The two sitting on the rail, if he hits a soft enough, spin it over. He's, you know, he's not going to really leave that big of a shot. Well, I, be I believe eight he's Eight and not nine is tied up a little, too, so. I yeah, mean, I, I believe him. I don't he's think pushing he's, out. He's going to push. I don't think he was going to take it because now after Ru looking on the other side, it, it's not real a good shot. I mean, now, Ruben being down here. He's taking three games, he, he might swing it. Do you think he's headhunting here? You he might take a swing at the billiard? Know how I swing at this? It, it, uh, what I first seen it is you shoot it and you come rail, then ball. Right, right. Well, you yeah, want, yeah, you definitely right. want to go. Well, you could also course. slide it. No, you slide could the slide it, but no, I, I like the, it's a little safer to use the rail He's right. playing to, safe, to avoid the hit behind the 10. Right, he like just safe. like that. He played safe. Yeah, just like he shot yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Because nice. if, you, if you go straight at it and get under it and, and clip the 10, yeah. like, he, like Al said, you go straight and drink after that. But uh, it would have been a safer. It would have been a safer carom to use the rail. Look at this. You know, he's got a telltale sign about him. Every time he puts his hand down and measures the distance of the ball in front of he's it. He's going to the and jump. from the rail, he goes to the jump. That's yeah. absolutely right. It seems like every one of these pros grab the jump cue when it's time to do, you know. <laughs> well, he's got a telltale sign like a poker play. He puts his hand down and measures out. Yeah, make sure he's not too close where that he, he can't can, jump. That he can make it, yeah. Right. This is a good jump because... He has no kick. Not, well, not a real good kick. Nice nice shot. Well, a lot of his angles were cut off uh, by blockers. Mm-hmm. He didn't leave really that bit good of a shadow, did he? No, he okay. got fortunate. I think Ruben Batista, if I'm not mistaken, played out in, I think it was Colorado at the Nick Varna Classic, the very first one that Nick Varna held, and uh, came in second place to Mika. And that was a field, a tremendous field. Mm -hmm. He called something up the corner. Is he going to try and cut this? Yeah, he's yeah, going to he slice it. Yeah, up. he's going to try to chop well, it. Up. Yeah, he's got to try. Of course, the two balls right there. The cue ball goes back and forth. Is that how you play it, Snooky? Is that exactly how you um, play it? I, I can get quite aggressive. Yeah, I, I like cutting these balls. They, they, there's no like obvious safe there. Uh, um, I might get that aggressive and shoot it, especially if it's just back and forth. Well, he gets kind of fortunate too, don't he? He does, but with this, the the way this tournament is with call shot, call safety, there's no there's no two way shot really. Yeah, but I mean, he ain't gonna give it Troy. back. No, no, no. Do no. you like playing the billiard off the off three? Off the three? Yeah, yeah. I was looking. I like the that. slide off yeah. the three. You gotta take a shot at it. And you know what you do too. You park the one ball right back up on a Brunswick, and if you miss it, he's gonna kick it the whole op opposite way. Hopefully, you get some blockers. He's he's playing it totally different, folks. He's going to leave him a window. A big window. Yeah. I don't think I like the way he played that. Do you at all? Tr I mean, all. Well, you would have came off the other rail. I, I, I would have took a swing at the cheese there a little bit. I don't like putting the next 
ball in rotation anywhere on the money ball. Like yeah, that. you always say that, all right? That's right. Yeah. And many a time. I, I, I like him. I mean, we all watch pool for years. Many a times you watch them marry. I think he's gonna billion. swing at this one. Oh. No, I think no. he's gonna bank the, the one two. Oh no, he went right for it. I'm yeah. really surprised. Nice I really shot. went for. A I mean, I, that's why I was talking about Snooky. He's swinging for it. He's going for it. He's down six three. He's got to go. Right. Swinging yeah. for the fence. It's time to get the. Mm -hmm. It's time to get the U-Haul packed up. <laughs> You know, he's That's a nice something. one. I like you know, that. You know, me and Troy, <laughs> me and Troy see the billiard shots back and forth here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Troy he, likes billiards. He's too far down to be uh, playing safety all night long. He's gonna get beat if he does that. Got in trouble? Uh, not really. I mean, it's it's a very easy breakout and a very easy cut shot. What do you you like to cut up the corner? Uh, I think uh, it's a real severe cut. Yeah, and the cue ball's is. coming out hot. He's gonna hit the nine for sure. Well, yeah, he's gonna hit it, but I mean, he's definitely gonna gonna play it, ain't he? Snooky. Up uh, in the corner, he's just real nice, easy cut. He can lock him up behind the ten. Oh, he's definitely going for it, Troy. Don't you think he's, he's shooting? Nah, he's, he's calling the bank, he's isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he's got to. He has no choice. He's yeah, down yeah. six three. He's got. It's time to get. It's time to get the. Well, truck. you don't want to get too aggressive. Oh, get yeah. you in trouble. Too. He's yeah. unloading the boxes right here, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't leave a box on the street, though. <laughs> Now let's. Oh, it's a dead bank. We all know that he's going to make this. Right, I think he might be. Is he banking it? Yeah, he banked it. But very fortunate. Yeah. 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 Let's see. He left the box on the street. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't get fortunate until you see what his opponent does. Yeah. <laughs> well. That's right. That's Dan. And, one and of Danny D's uh, right. good sayings. Right? I think it's a little bit harder than it looks, though. I think Listen, he, he left the box on the street and and left it open so you could see the goods. Well, the goods being the 10 ball that he might have to just, uh, not even might, he has to call it. I, he doesn't call it. He did call it. Oh, did he call it? He, he called what, the 3 or the 10? No, he called the 10. Wow, and he speared it. That's it, he and called he the 10. He speared it the, in. He showed he the goods, he showed he the goods. He speared it. 7-3. He took a commanding lead, too, with wow. that. Wow. That was like the, the, the surprise in the Cracker Jack box. Well, I think if we go back to the middle of that rack. That might have put the stake in his heart. That's I felt his shoulders droop a little bit. I, that no, the it was. <laughs> yeah, the, the middle. The, the left went down, and I just, I tell you what, if you seen the floor, you'd see a tear on it right now. <laughs> I think in the middle of the rack that uh, Ruben had an opportunity to play a different shot on that 10. I, I think, think Snooky would have played it a little different too, wouldn't you, Snooky? Uh, what, it's just that 10? Someone came up and gave us Halloween What candy. are you guys doing back there? Look Halloween. at them too. You got Halloween candy. <laughs> they got trickle tree candy <laughs> running around. <laughs> hey, listen. No, Snooky, you can have the listen, candy. I'm going to roll Go ahead, show that. Show that again. All right, we got a match in front of us. Go ahead. Look, see candy. All this Halloween candy. All right, People gave me candy. 7-3. Here we go. Look. Francisco Felicidad set nice the break. We're racing to break. nine. I mean, thank God we're racing to nine. This thing would be over before we even get out of the house here. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this has been going uh, one way. Well, I'm hoping that you let uh, it go three. bonus because I think we're going to get a real nice table three match here, folks, after this here. Uh, if I was going to put it on there. And here we go. Watch the seven and eight in the side. They got kicked around a little bit. That was the eight. eight. Watch the three. All right. He's got a little room there. Hey, Al, did you know? Did you watch that break, Al? Or were you off? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't catch oh, that. I was saying, did you watch that break? It seems with that side break, and it's expected, that the balls, they, they wind up a little differently, not as open and spread out is that forward break when he's playing um, like a inch or two off the head spot they seem to spread out really nice when they play it that way but sometimes they don't make a ball and they let's go back to the old they sell out because they they really are opened up uh in that manner mm -hmm. this way uh he's making balls he's na navigating a little bit but uh he's he's been getting out I'm not sure he's going to get out here, old Troy. No, he's going to get it. He's, the other guy got out of his chair. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the out you got, <laughs> out of his chair. And the last time I said anything, the guy had the U-Haul packed up. I mean, it was gone. I thought I'd leave that sentence out this trip. 
Good thing they charge about 80 cents a mile because we'd be broke by now. <laughs> <laughs> Nice two railer. Well, this this definitely puts him back in the in, in the chair now, and uh, he should stay in a chair for about an hour here. Let's just all hope that you're 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 reaching there. Now he's gonna play to Karam. <laughs> gonna play to Karam here. Not that it's not possible. I, I mean I get what you're nice saying. Shot. No, I, just, I mean I just know why I'm saying it, and I know why you're <laughs> saying it. It's a got, whole he, different reason. He got a little straight. I mean I can think too. positively. You know what I mean. I mean, he definitely plays a great game, and we'll just have to see if he can uh, just hold up here. He's been making a lot of mistakes, so, you know, there's been three, four mistakes that you wouldn't think he'd make. He's got a little angle. <coughs> Good. Nice to the center of the table. He's got more work here left in front of him. Definitely more work, but he's going to come around two rails and back over for the four in the same pocket, it looks like, Troy. Just be yep. careful you don't catch the five, the five. on the way out. Mm -hmm. Clip it and go on the side. He should go right, right between it. He does. He can spin it. Spin it short. He still has to watch. Special spinach, baby. He can draw it, too. He, that's what he's doing. He's coming off that rail real nice and smooth. I think he's, yeah, I think he did. Nice shot. Wow. Too well, much spin. You couldn't have called in any better, Troy. Just no, he's straight okay. He's yeah, good. he just dead stop and he's straight inside. Man, I mean, this is. And he's got a little bit of an angle. So I mean, this here, he got to pack this up in a hurry. He's in no hurry. Absolutely no hurry. He's down 7-3, and he's go, he's going to try and grind away. Stay, the main thing he's got to do is grinder? stay in it. He's got to stay in his rhythm is the main thing he's got to do. You, you seen him grind, uh, Al? Yeah, he played in the Nick Vaughn Classic, yeah. And there was monsters all involved like this, similar. Well, not as big as this, but there was a lot of monsters in the tournament. I've never been to a tournament. And he took second place monsters. to Mika. Actually, he went through the whole field undefeated, and Mika had to beat him twice. Mm -hmm. True double elimination, that is. Yeah. Here's our friend. Nice. nice. Another nice, easy 10 ball to wrap up this game. Wow. That just puts him right back in the match, folks. 7-4. Snooky, you like his chances now real good, right? I think we have a player timeout. I, well, we listen, do. and I think that was the move right there. That was a good move for him to take Absolutely. a break right now. Why not? Unbelievable. He takes a break. I think I'm going to take one, too, just for a quick second. I'll be back. All right. We'll stand guard. <laughs>
And we are back. Hey, Troy, you and I at the helm. You got the navigation department, and I'll take the helm itself. How about that? You we'll switch it. up every four hours. Four <laughs> hours on, four hours off. And this will be our last match, so. Well, not really. We might have a challenge. Oh, match. really? A little uh, bonus for the. A little bonus for the pay per view. Nice. Depending on what kind of match, and depends on if Manny and uh, George and Anna want to keep running it because they do pay for bandwidth right, you know, right, on pay per view. Right. I got so. you. Totally up to them. Yep. Ruben Batista set to break right now. He trails here by three. It's seven to four. We're coming to you live from Steinway Billiards in Astoria, Queens, New Watch York. The three. Nothing. And you are watching the fourth annual Steinway Classic. Oh, look at that one. That's a up. bunch of, huh? <laughs> that looks like a bunch of traffic on the LIE. The LIE is the Long nope. Island Expressway here in New York City. Yeah, he's lucky he's playing call shot, call safe here because... Uh, if he wasn't, he'd be playing a 10 ball and, and locking a cue ball behind it. But he's playing a 10 ball anyway. I think he called something in the side out. Well, then he probably called a one. Right, okay. Very nice. Got funny on this. Yeah, a little, a little too fast. Makeable, yes. Position wise? Yeah, questionable. He's got a good pace about him, so uh, don't be surprised if he, he goes out there and he shoots um, a little something lower percentage. He played the side pocket and he played it well. Really what a touch. Nice. Wow. Look at the cue ball. Wow. Really I'll tell you what, the folks here in Queens are appreciating his play, huh? Yeah, that was a really nice shot. Man. We were discussing the uh, the difference, how these pros they really do adjust to the different tables. Yeah, because we're here, it's, we have the Brunswick tables, and they play on diamonds, and sometimes they play overseas, and they're playing on uh, playing Chinese eight ball tables or yeah, right, right, those little <laughs> small snooker <laughs> tables with the snooker pockets you can hardly put a ball in. These guys love the game so much; it just you could throw oranges on the floor and they throw holes in the floor and want to play. He doesn't really like this. Uh, yeah, I think the eights uh, squeezed him out at a four. He wanted to be on the other side, but it, he didn't get there. He's looking at a safe. And he left him a little window there. Need a rail. He left him a yeah. shot. Sure that, did. That was not a... Left him a shot, and the five ball is yeah. all the way next to the other side pocket. All he has yeah. to do is roll, roll down on it. Yeah. This is a nice touch shot, though, this roll to, to roll this ball in. Yeah. It was like five feet away. It's not a... Hit it good. Hit it well. Bring my mic a little closer. I noticed uh, I, I fade out a little bit when I get tired. Well, people are close, pal. I yeah, mean, my voice, my, like I was saying earlier, I, I tend to whisper sometimes, like I'm, I'm sitting next to the table. <laughs> Walking around a table, taking a look. Nice touch, nice, real nice stroke there. Fluid. You play the ten ball. Right. Combination, I don't know. Boy, do I got a surprise for the viewers here. It's, uh, I'm not letting the cat out of the bag as of yet, but just came into the, to the booth. Uh, just came into the booth? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing. Um, you know, we, we, we're seeing um, world championship play here. Wow, Ruben Batista went for the 10 ball, missed it. Now what Francisco can do is give this back to him. 
<laughs> you can't blame him. I would. Why would you even take a shot at it? He's got the option to hand it back. I wonder if Francisco is even familiar with the rules. It looks like he is. Um, well, he went for the jump cue. I wonder if he even realizes that he can give it back to Ruben, being that Ruben called the shot. Oh, he called the 10. I had to. Uh, yeah, he called the 10. He was playing the combination. And he missed it, apparently. And he missed it. So the cue ball winds up like this. Well, I guess Francisco is familiar with it because he called the shot. He's banking it down to the bottom right-hand corner. He's I'm jump back. banking it. Jump back. Hey, he called the bottom right-hand corner, I believe. Oh, look at Jason. Just Being silly. We have another camera. He just gave us a big mush. Where's he going? Runaway train into the corner pocket. Choo -choo. Ruben Batista still has life. He doesn't want to let Francisco get to the hill right now. This is going to be like do or die. Every ball counts, one at a time. We've seen him grind it out. He's got ball in hand with four balls left on the table. That's a, a good feeling. And they're all in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> How you like that? <laughs> No need to get, a, you know, up got, and down anywhere. I got to shoot these? Yeah, yeah I mean, you no know, cur <laughs> courtesy? I mean, come on, give me a courtesy. Uh, he's feeling good to get these four out of the way. Yeah. Allows him to continue on and loosen up a little bit, which is nice. And you can see he, his pace changed a little bit there. He's got second wind. Yeah. He can't believe he's yeah, up at the yeah, table. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he was facing uh, letting his opponent get to the hill, and now he's back there. And he's going to drill this right in the corner pocket. Ruben Batista hanging in there. And now it's 7 5 with him breaking. Hold on. Folks, I'm going to flash it on the screen what's happening here tomorrow, okay? I know you guys are probably sitting on edge like we are. Going to flash it on the screen right now. You know Ko Pin Yi. Well, look, Ko Pin Chung is coming up 1 p.m. tomorrow. He's playing Jason Shore right here on the live stream table. Jason Shore out of Scotland resides in Connecticut playing Ko Pin Chung. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's tomorrow. With the adding another one to his bead, the excitement of this match has not only grown off the table, it's, you can hear the crowd getting a lot louder right now as they're talking about it. It's, it's electric. Watch the side. Oh my goodness. Oh, and balls are falling and the crowd Gives a moan. Wow. <laughs> you know, they're both good friends and they're joking around. And uh, Francisco says, I don't want to beat my friend. Yeah. He's sitting there. He's Hands are crossed. But that's only with a sense of humor. The guy at the table looks happy. The guy sitting in this chair, on the other hand, is showing uh, Far from happy. Yes, little signs of uh, frustration. Wow, look at the ball take off. How about just perfect? Yeah. And 
you know you're in trouble. You scratch on the brake. Now this guy's juicing balls up off the rail, laughing. He's feeling good. Walking around the table. He's got a little pep in his step. He sees the finish line, I think. Absolutely. The eye of the tiger right now. Folks, look behind, look at your monitor. Ara and the baby, <laughs> Jason Shaw's little girl. She's, yeah. She's beautiful. She's looking. She's watching the pool match. She, she's <laughs> watching the monitor. She, sure she wants is. a headset. Yeah, <laughs> we're about to give her a headset. Put a headset on her. <laughs> Probably she's not better. talking yet, but yeah. if we put her in front do of the screen, she'll she'll point at what she'll do a better job than I'm she's doing. She's loving pull, and she's <laughs> staring at the monitor. Yeah, she yeah. really is. Man. As we're talking, uh, Francisco running out, just mowing it down, trying to get on the hill. She may be looking at the, and that's not Daddy. Wow, <laughs> he went a little further than he. Not this a big deal though. Good. Francisco to the hill. Easy. Wow. <laughs> She's applauding, I love it. Oh, you try to get her to say something, huh? make a noise of some sort. She was so cute, she's like, no. <laughs> and here we go. Francisco leading 8 5 with the break. Ba and to close this match out. Baby's first commentary. Yeah. <laughs> It's Steinway. Fourth annual Steinway Classic. This will be our last match of the night and possibly um, the last match of the tournament of for tonight. Uh, here we go. Nice break. Left the cue ball down there. Did not make a ball, and a little bit of a, he may have a shot in the one. I think he can slide that in. All right, Troy, fill me in. That's all right. Uh, he broke, he broke dry. He has a shot on the one to cut it in, but he's still, he's got some work. The balls are tight and all on that one side. It's like a, a little bit of a drill. He might not have it because he's really squeezing to look at it. If if that's the case, he's gonna he could just uh, pretty much bet he's gonna play it safe, even though he'd rather not. It, but it, it might be his best option right here. Well, maybe not. He's gonna be aggressive. He has a side pocket that opens a. Uh, some other avenues for him now. He did get on this. The four is in the side. Come up to five to six. Yeah, you know what? Everything's laying out pretty nice here, Al. It's just he's going to have to work at it. I'll tell you what, we got so many people standing around there, standing up three and four folds on top of the bleaches. They're actually getting in the camera's yeah. views. Yeah, with that one. And those cameras are up there. That one view we. Uh, wow, we this guy might be six and a half feet tall. 
Yeah, that one camera that we have uh, set up above the bleachers, uh, everybody's standing there. Sometimes we can't utilize it. That's all right, but this is a pretty good view here. I like this one. She's tired. Jason's baby in the booth, and uh, I'm sure we'll, she'll be Future run commentator. <laughs> running around and uh, 15, 20 years old before we know it. Yeah. Blink of the eye. She's tired, though. I'm playing. I was playing with her. <laughs> Just She's tired. <laughs> <laughs> she can fall asleep in her mommy's arms. All right, so we just got a little work cut out for him, but uh, he's not finished yet. That's for sure. No, he's not. But he's happy to be at the table. Like yeah, he's got he's got an opportunity here, and see see if the uh, he gets out here and see if the break affords him to um, move on. Yeah. He's got a little funny on a seven, I think. Made him stop and pause for where he's going to get on the eight to get back over. Oh, there was a, no, that, that was a, that nice was a very good. Uh, decision to come up for the side. That allows him a lot of options. If he comes in uh, short, he can go. Can he drag a draw here and, and shoot it's the corner? It's hard to tell from where he. Yep, that's yeah. what he did. Now he left himself a little bit of a, a shot, but you know it's only a four foot shot. Well, you know what? But I like him. If he has to bump it, I like him bumping it soft. Oh, right. I thought he might. You know, if he had if he had bumped it, he's only going to bump it down closer to the co right. pocket and the rail, right? And there we go. Looky here. We have a match. We have a match in progress. We have a Pull match up. coming up. No, not coming up, not like that. We have eight uh, six for the folks at home. <laughs> Ruben putting another one on the board and moving one step closer to the. Trying to close hill the hill. gap here. Yeah. Trying to close the gap. Yeah, we want to see a hill hill match. I would love to see a hill yeah. hill match. Yeah, it off. That'd be good. It's just the, it's the comeback factor at that. At just at yeah. that. And neither one of these guys are uh, underdogs. Someone said, mentioned that to me uh, earlier when I was out amongst the crowd. They were saying, oh, who do you like? Who do you like? He says, no, he's the underdog. I was like, there's no, there's no underdogs <laughs> in, the, in this place, there, you know? Yeah. Well, like we said yesterday, even some of the amateurs here. Uh, I've been discussing some. Some of the amateurs. No, 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 some uh, different things with uh, uh, someone else. And the amateur status might be reserved for B and under A open pro that's A players need to play with uh, open players and pros and that's how you can kind of split the field up a little bit right and it, what's it do to an A player you got to become an open you well know, Ruben's looking to split this and divide this score yeah. if he can get the seven He's taking right a nice. Right now it's you, tied 14. He just gathered Games himself in the a bag. little for this break. I mean, it's break. tied. It's 8-6. He's looking to tie it up. Oh, wow. The, the nine ball went around. In. He needs a shot. The three ball's going in or close to it. a good bounce it. on this one. Oh. oh. It was like the last <laughs> ball rolling. Man, isn't that time. amazing? Every time. He might still have a piece of this. He could kick it maybe. Kick, yes. It's like when you're playing craps. It's like seven out. <laughs> I don't play grab. I don't even know what you mean by that. Hmm. I'll tell you when you win. Game of chance. Want to play? No, thank <laughs> I'll tell you when you win. <laughs> I work too hard. I can't give none of my money away. Oh, boy. What do you do here? You you push or you kick? He's got a good, pretty good kick safe here, right? You think? 
or he's got an opportunity so for hard a, to say especially at the, your your push opponent out. is on he a hill. He can push out. Yeah, I think that might be the best bet out because if you kick behind that one, there's a big chance that you're going to. I like tying up the four by the eight or the four and the six somehow and pushing out right to there. And then he can do what he wants. Let there. him play you safe from there and yeah. start battling. Yeah. I like the idea of tying tie something it. out. Yeah. You tie know, it. another good thing for him is see the five ball on well the side over what there? Do you, which one do you tie up? I see the five ball. Go ahead. Yeah. Four six or the four eight. Push the four in front of the eight. And then you have the option to kick back that way, or, you know. How about you? You tied it three and a one up. No. No. No? No. no. Said, how about you just kick at it? Kick you call safe. it. Kick safe. That worked out nicely. Yeah, that was good. Good shot. I think he left him a little him. little piece though. I don't think so. No? No, he does not. Okay. I have, I have classes for a reason. <laughs> Brought up before uh, one of Danny D's, uh, a Danny D ism, well, you know, one of his uh, certain handles that he says all the time. Know what I enjoyed also was uh, Pete Fleming on a stream. He was doing some commentating. He's a oh, real, oh, okay. He's a real pip. Yeah, yeah, Petey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pete was down at the U.S. Open, yep. helping every is whatever. He, is he bending us around a 10? Yes, yes, he, he is. is. Wow. He hit that very thin, and he. Ruben's Left got a chance. Real big opportunity. Ruben's got a big, big opportunity here. I'm not rooting for Ruben. No, no, absolutely. But, uh, We're I'm rooting, rooting for, for a, a great match. match. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We don't want to bend that. We quick. don't care who wins that <laughs> after it gets 8-8. Eight, eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a quick look and see what we got here. Well, That's the three's he's wide doing. open. It's like, you know, one, two. The three's three. right there. The four. four's right there. The only five problem, ball. I don't know if the five goes. Does it, it go from your vision? It goes up in a corner. Oh, it doesn't go into the side pocket? Oh, uh, no. That's, that's. Well, if he gets right on the four, you can always drag the cue ball towards that. Or if he gets right on the three, you can drag the cue ball towards that and nudge that five and still create a shot on the four if it doesn't go. Yeah, I said that earlier, that five ball's going to be the, the little problem. But I think he can play it up in a corner. Oh, he got Just a little. No, he didn't get too much out of line because you want to drift over a little foot of four and get the angle for okay. the five. Got you. Yeah, he got on the right side of it. Yeah. He might have got a little too much on it, though. He's going to drift over. We'll see. He's got to watch the 10, too. You don't want to bump that too much. No, he's not he's even gonna coming gonna close. He's just going to draw it out a little bit? Yeah, he's going to draw it out. All right. Well, he went, came back. Good shot. Good shot. Yeah, I was thinking he was, I was thinking he was trying to hold it, but he, he he did have a lot of angle. He couldn't hold it. He just. He looked at the angle to try to draw the cue ball back to nudge the five or at least hit it off the rail. It, I think that's what he's going to do here. Really? No, well, he's just, playing it straight up. Nice shot. Really nice shot. This is scary. Yeah, you see, this you is getting exciting. This is like the the sound of the shock coming through the water. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, this is that point. <laughs> the point right there is looks like it's under a magnifying glass as you're looking at it. It's staring you right in the face. Very oh, nice. it went right by. I thought it was frozen to that rail. Okay, he hit that sweet. You know, he makes this and gets out, and I don't want to put any kind of jinx on him, but then you're looking at 8-7 and him breaking. Yeah, and a little and the pressure. Crowd, the crowd will erupt. The pressure uh, turned the around even though Francisco is on the hill, but the pressure would be on him. He got a little, uh, he made that a little difficult for himself. He can go around the world. Yeah. Or, or you know what he can do? Just go Just out go to, the center, up of the to the center of the table. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's got a great window there. <laughs> Don't do anything really that aggressive. Look at yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah, see, that's perfect. what he's looking at. Perfect. Like, I perfect. can get up to here and still have a great shot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's good. He's all right.
Good shot. That was nice. Now, do you like rolling this or going up and down? <laughs> I think he's going to roll it with the speed. Yeah, I think he doesn't want to get anything. Ooh, he's going to come around. That's what it looks like. Yeah, he it. did. All right. He spun it. Well, that slows down the cue, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, that was kind of gutsy, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, he got on the rail a little bit. So Ruben Batista yep. looking to go to seven here, folks. He and does. He does. The grinder. Eight, seven. Francisco's. Felicidad still in the lead. It's not over as Ruben Batista is going to come to the table and break and rack 16. The, uh, and what allowed him into uh, back onto the table was a break scratch, wasn't it? Alex Kazakis and Darren Appleton, and I understand, a uh, hill hill right now in their match. And Alex is breaking. Boy, that's the that's the second hill hill match Darren had back to back. He played uh, Josh Roberts Josh, before yeah. that one and went hill hill. And that was a, he was behind in that that whole match, and he came back. Well, let's get the match at hand. We have eight seven with Ruben breaking. We might have Hill Hill on both tables. That would oh, be no. awesome. Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> oh, yes, he did. All right. Uh, you didn't go there. <laughs> Here we go. Ruben Batista set the break. Just got to watch the cue. Give him a chance. Oh, Give look, a he chance. parked the rock, baby. He parked the rock. Oh, look at the he nine. He made a ball in the side. Look at the one. Open rack. Wow, it's Look got a sign. Look at this. This is exciting. I love it. It's got a sign. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now what they, that was a break shot. He hit that perfect. <laughs> Relaxing, looking at the table and uh, giving it its little concentration, try and relax and uh, walk around the table. Yeah, this is a breather, yeah. I, you know. Yeah, he's got to take yeah. his time. Look, he's wiping down the yeah. table. I might have to take a walk just before I shoot the one ball. Ruben yeah. Batista's going straight at it. Now watch that nine ball. Perfect. Nice, very nice. It's scary. You see it slowing down. It's like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> can, he f can he float down after the three ball and have the four on the side? Yes, he can. Yes, That's he what can. he's That's looking, what he's at, looking right at now. Yeah. And then he can have the five in the corner. Good call. Boy, he's, he got Good this, call he's got Al. this mapped out. All he has yeah. to do is just work the cue ball properly. He's got the pattern down to science. The only thing I see is the, from the eight to the nine. No problem. The nine goes in the side. The eight goes in either corner. He's good with it. I want to see Hill Hill. I do too. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm giddy right now. I think it's the chocolate that I had. Maybe the Halloween candy they chocolate. gave me. No, this is exciting no matter what. No more sugar for you. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got to play this in the four in the side and the five in the corner. Yeah. Right where he's got his stick, he wants that cue ball for the five in the corner. Yeah, you want to get real good on these uh, last couple balls. Yeah. <laughs> so your opponent's on the hill. You don't want to be shooting anything too too difficult. Couldn't hit it any better than that. Yeah, that was real nice. nice. He's, you know, he's got a little pep in his step right now. He's feeling real good about this. Just has to stay calm. I like getting practically straight in on the eight, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> but I want the I want a, like the cue ball on the rail so we, I can get the cue ball out, out a, a little, little bit. You know what you I mean? You like that angle as opposed to going to to the rail. Y yeah, because it's a little easier of a shot. Right. You know. Yeah, on the rail or even like that's okay. He's okay. Roll up. Oh, 
Or is he going to cheat the pocket to stay off the uh, rail? No, he's no, just no, going to no. roll up. You, you, know. you don't want to cheat anything right now. Are you kidding me? You're taking no chances. <laughs> no wiping of feet, toes, and none of that. None this, of is, this is really not that good, to be honest with you, because he wants to spin it. But you know what? Just make the nine and accept the shot right where the cue ball is going to yeah, be. Yeah, that's what he's looking at, too. And, like. the, and that's the way to get out. Just roll this in the same way and the cue ball up table and take the shot. He's going to take the shot is right here. Yep. And this is a 10 ball that uh, with a little pressure, this is one of the hardest 10 balls we've seen in quite some time. Not the hardest one he's ever seen, trust no, me. Absolutely not. Ruben oh, Batista. What is that? The, How do you like crowd. this as a last match, folks? How do you like this? 8-8. Eight, wow. eight. I bet you everybody out there watching the stream and half the people in this room gave up on Ruben Batista. We know he can grind it. Second place down there in, I believe, Colorado where they had the first Nick Vaughn or open. Mm -hmm. Grinds it out right here and make it hill hill. And everybody in this room are on their feet because the people in front of them are on their knees. <laughs> and the people in front of them are on these chairs. <laughs> <laughs> this place is rolling. <laughs> really, though. Wow. It's amazing. I can't even switch over to the other camera on the bleachers because there's so many people sitting on top of so many people. Yeah, really. And those cameras are up there. Yep. Cannolis. <laughs> Ruben Batista. We're going to have to make a name up for him because I'll tell you what. I'm sure he has one. Yeah, yeah but we got to make I, one I, up from New York City. I gave him one, but I, I'll tell you off camera what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what and why. He's, he's, he's doing a real good move here where it's not a move, but it's just a, he's making sure he gets a, a perfect rack. No, no, he pulled it back like three or four times. That's all right. He settled himself. All right, let him tighten him up. He wants a nice rack. He wants the same rack he gave himself the last one prior to this. He wants to plant it and make a ball and just have a shot. I'm not rooting for Ruben, and I'm not rooting, rooting for Francisco. You ain't Wait, you know what? From when you, pr you can appreciate a guy coming back after such a deficit, you know what I mean? So it's exciting no matter what. The jazz man is with us down south. He says, hilla, hilla, and hilla, hilla, thriller. <laughs> Everybody's excited. We're getting text into the booth. We're getting PM messages on the screens. We're lucky we have screens because we can't. Look at the people there. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, no. We could be in a basement Look right at now. the people there. Now, a lot of times we're in the booth and, you know, okay, so we're watching on the screen exactly what everyone at home sees. But if we need to look at a shot, you know, we'll stand up and can see it, the table. It doesn't We end. cannot. It does not end here at the arena. There's we, people on the other side of the room around the tables. We cannot see the table from where we're sitting at now. <laughs> There's wow. so many people on there. Who's it going to be in 2015? Who's it going to be in 2016? We're rocking and rolling here at Steinway. Billiards in Astoria, Queens, New York. Here we go. This is better than the World Series. Oh, this is exciting. I love it. 8-8. <laughs> eight, eight. Hill, hill. Plant the cue ball. Have a shot. Let's play safety for about five to six innings each. Let's get this super rated. Experience counts here. Oh, look at this. Everything's, oh, my goodness. Everything's ducking. The two is in the hey. wide open. Oh Ruben goodness. Batista fans are going crazy in the room right now. I bet you there's about $4,800 bet around the arena. I would take just a second. Be, let, the, let the crowd kind of calm down a little bit. And before I shot, and Listen, I think that's what he, I think he heard me. Forget about it. You're not calming <laughs> them down. You're not calming us down. No, but as this a player, I'm just saying as a player, he just made a fantastic break, made two balls, and, uh, and he's got a shot. Well, he's made three balls. I don't know yes. how commentators that, that are in the golf, that are into golf, <laughs> how uh, can don't actually jump out sit there. Skin. Don't jump out. Wow. Oh. He missed the two ball. Wait a minute. Wow. Hold the phone. Now you hear the fans that are, that are betting on Francisco. And you see the, the European crew 
I guess everybody's betting on somebody because they just flooded the arena. It's like the stock market floor. No, do you <laughs> see the, do you see what I meant about the importance of just wow. holding, holding off a little bit? I would have held off just for a second. Wow. It didn't take much. It's important wow. to compose yourself, you know. You hear yeah. the crowd erupting like this. Listen, and this that. guy has nerves of steel. I seen him shoot down at the U.S. Open, and he's got nerves of steel. Wow, nice I'm shot. telling you, don't give up on this guy either. He's got it in the grip of his hand right now. He just has to, like you said, stay calm. Ruben Batista's growing horns. He sees that red shirt. He can't wait to get out of his seat. He's like a <laughs> bull sitting in there. <laughs> Well, he needs to settle in a little bit because the balls aren't going to go anywhere. Look at all the people. Both sides. I, I tell you what, I got a roving cam. If I start roving and take it off the game, the match itself, I know I'm going to catch heck. So I'm not going to even start to yeah. remotely show you the fans that are going around this arena. I know you guys would nice send shot. me right to the psych ward. Yeah. He got a little... A little different angle than he wanted, wanted. to get. <laughs> he's okay here, he's though. He's okay, but he's, he's got he's work got to work. do. Yeah. yeah, he's got work to do, but he's all right. Watch this smooth draw again. Underneath the six. Watch the side. All yeah, right, he's okay. What a shot. Did he have to he come with it? And did he come with it? He did come with that one. Wow. Who's on the phone? Now he's going to, uh, he's got to get down below for this nine. He's going to play it in the side. Once he gets, if he gets here, right where he's pointing his cue. It's over if he gets there. And he's got perfect I, shape. Perfect shape. Wow. Perfect shape. Wow. Perfect shape. What an amazing match these two gentlemen put on for the viewers, for the fans. And... Just amazing. Wow. People are going crazy. They're, they're swearing because they're winning the bet. <laughs> there you have it. My goodness. Wow. Francisco Felicida wins that match. It was Hill Hill between him and Ruben Batista by a score of 9-8. to eight. I'm Upstate Al of AZB TV. Snooky in the booth. My ace in the hole, <laughs> Troy, a.k.a. NJ Good Pool night, Player. Good night, everybody. Thank we want to say thank you, guys. And I'll tell you what, I'm not turning it off because if that match goes down for 20K, you can rest assured oh, yeah, that we here. will be here. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, I was a I'm here all night. You thanks got me again, on. Al. Thanks again, everyone. <laughs> thank you, everybody. We'll be right back. Stand by.